Yeah, he has. He, he had a lot of fun. Okay, people. Welcome. This is uh, our team name, Shoot from the Hip, Solar Hot Air Heater Game. I'm Francis B. Gardner, and yeah, this is... Okay. Nice. I used the page seven button. You see, it goes to six little buttons. Something that the first slide is always sticky. I don't know why. As you can see, I am pretty computer illiterate. Uh, <laughs> no, he's not. We just hit them all. We got some The page seven button. You know, and then, yeah. Okay, the kind of people out have lived with nature all their lives. The state lived with nature because people can't control Mother Earth. She buys up people with the things they need to exist. The kind of used all parts of the animals, such as the buffalo, people only took what they needed to live. They didn't get greedy and overindulge, also leave some for others and for the animals to keep to multiply so their food would be. So there would be food for the future. How do we get this smart thing? <laughs> I, I think right. it's there to stay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is a picture we got for buff the uses that it has. As you can see, our uh, ancestors used every part of this animal. Okay. And uh, it made up. Down in Missouri, some Native Americans made a bull boat on it. That's how they crossed the Missouri River. Okay. Got the teepee. And with the teepee, it's very unique to the Blackfeet because it's got a, such an angle that no other teepee in this uh, United States has. I think it's a 65 degree angle. So that keeps it the front wind from blowing it over. Okay, and that's how we built it. And to make a lodge back then was 21 ropes. Skins. Wow. Mm. And yeah. also, we got to learn from our ancestors for the future of our, our Mother Earth. Because if we keep going the way our, our kids don't learn to respect Mother Earth as things are going right now, there will be no Mother Earth. So with the class that we're taking now, all our young people who will be our leaders in the future will have an idea how to use renewable resources. And they can teach other people how to do this in the future. Because as the older we get, we'll start fading in the background. We'll have the information, but we'll not be the ones in front leading the charge. So our young people need to learn this. Their ancestral <coughs> ways, how they respected Mother Earth, and continue it on. Or else their grandchildren in the future will probably cease to exist because there will be no Earth. Okay. okay, this is our background.
This is kind of theory that, you know, this is the out, or the in one, the out one, Mr. Uh, kind of, this is, I can't remember this, it's the heat capacity. Heat capacity times mass times dream temperature, right? So times time. And so we used an efficiency on the small one, we used a 33 gallon uh, plastic bag to kind of measure this, and a half hour it filled up half, but one of the problems is probably our hose is too small. Also, the, the paper, the big trash bag probably weighted the heat mm. so it didn't really transfer out. We would have used uh, probably a little uh, white one, yeah. a small yeah. trash can. We probably would have got a better reading on what our true uh, yeah. efficiency was. So we figured out with the help of the main gun here that uh, it was 10%. It would probably be more if we had bigger holes and so forth. You know, it's something that, it was just kind of a prototype that we thought up with the tin. I had some old tin at home, and the cost of this was probably, it was scrap tin, and I had some old uh, screws, pin screws that we used, and then we'd have to figure in the cost of the pie board and the two by fours. So I think around scrap stuff in the boards, I guess that we built it for how much you would be estimating? 20, 25 bucks, something around there. So it didn't cost it very much to build that. Now, this small one was a quarter of the screen we built. So our suggestion for use for this one was, you know, when just goes off for about, about say two days and you need to go to the bathroom, Build yourself an outhouse and put this one on there. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go out there, you know, you'll have a warm seat. <laughs> <laughs> the hypothesis, uh, what? <laughs> data on the tin. On this side we've got uh, was about let's say 10 to 20 percent uh, cloud cover. On this one over here we just did it for 10 minute intervals and this was kind of a cloud cover day. Let's say about 7 to 8 percent during the day. 
So as you can see, they go up and they go down. So at one time, it, this one, the small one reached uh, at the end of our deal, I think it's around noon. It reached almost 170 in the sun. And this one has cloud cover. This is where we ended our research. That's why I looked at the lunch. It only reads around 110. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that, that was a tin project. This one was our uh, screen. This was the first one. Let's see. Wow. This is the second one. Or we took this on that day. We didn't uh, do too much. At one time, we reached 200 degrees with the screen. Wow, boil water almost. Huh? Okay. And the cloud covered day, our highest reading was about 124. And we, we decided to, you know, add a few things to this one. This is supposed to be a screener, so we just came up with the idea that that's what our name is, shoot from the hip. You know, try to think outside the box with our new types of uh, materials. I went to the store and bought three rolls of aluminum foil. We laid down three layers, and what we had left over, we uh, did four squares about this big, about three by two. We ruffled them up so the flow would be kind of uh, turbulent a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what we got. It produced some good heat. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. Hey. Good job, you guys. Uh, they took thermal pictures of the small one, and we, <coughs> because of the time frame, we couldn't, couldn't put the pictures on there. But I wish you could have seen that. Mm -hmm. We'll put them in the final reports for sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, and if we had more time, we could probably have more information for you. Mm -hmm. But because of my computer skills, this young gentleman is a lot better than I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's <my> praise. <laughs> I think we have time for a couple questions. Thank you.